So this is the intake manifold of the Renesis engine uh, for the 6-port version, high power. For the 6-port, we have these two extra ports for the 5th and 6th port. The standard power Renesis engine has only 4 ports. These are 1, 2, 3, and 4. That's the standard 4 port. And for the Renesis engine high power, we have this additional 5th and 6th port. These are the primary ports, these are the secondary ports, and these are the 5th and 6th ports. And these 4 holes are for the fuel injectors for the uh, primaries, and these are for the secondaries. For the primary intake ports, they have 4 set of injectors. Two are installed on the intermediate iron housings, and two here at the intake manifold. You can see here the primary intake ports. And the injector bosses here are also located here at these uh, primary intake ports. And these two injectors are for the secondaries, secondary intake ports. You can see the curved part. That's the secondary ports. And for the fifth and sixth port for the Renesis High Power, um, it has no uh, fuel injectors. For the primary intake ports, um, you will see here there are four ports here the one here at the top um, here this side is the primary intake ports you will see here this one are the primary intake ports from the top we have four ports here two here on this side will go down here and down to the flange for the part of the primary intake ports here and for the secondaries the two here are going down here and going down here at the bottom for two, for the secondary intake ports here for the fifth and sixth port here it goes here air goes here and goes out here and air goes here and goes out here for the primary intake ports it's always open for the secondaries the secondary ports which are on this part uh, it is controlled by the SSB secondary shutter valve there's a secondary shutter valve here which uh, closes uh, the secondaries at low rpm and only opens at uh, at a certain high rpm and here we have the vdi valve uh, the variable dynamic effect intake uh, which uh, allows a uh, cross bridge of all the intake ports here of all the four intake ports here you can see my fingers from right going to the left if the vdi valve here is closed air will not be allowed to transfer to the other side and air from here will not be transferred allowed to transfer on this side so at low rpm these are the only ports allowing air to go inside the rotary engine and we have this mixing nozzle the small nozzle here going from here this is connected to the uh, intake pipe that allows air to be sucked through this port a streaming air going out here it helps the atomization of the fuel that is injected by the primary injectors. At the RPM, air is only allowed to pass here and the secondaries are shot by the secondary shutter valve and then at 3750 rpm the secondary shutter valve located here uh, will open allowing air to pass through these ports going here and then at 5500 rpm the vfad the variable fresh air duct will open to allow additional air rushing through the air box And then at 6,250 RPM, the auxiliary port bulb or the what you call the 5th and 6th port will open. 
allowing additional air to go in. And then at 7,250 RPM, the VDI bulb, the, the variable dynamic intake bulb, which is located here, will also open, allowing cross bridge of air on these four ports at the top of the primaries and secondaries. So that's the design of the intake manifold of the 13B Renesis engine to create more power in naturally aspirated mode. So this is the SSB valve, the secondary shutter valve. Uh, there are two holes to allow air from the secondary intake port. Um, air will go through here but, and then if it closes, air can pass through. And then if it opens again, air will go through the two holes. So it's located here. You can see here that the SSV is at its closed position. So I will install this uh, SSV. You can see these uh, two ports here. And this inside the intake manifold. Air going down here cannot pass through here because of the SSV in its closed position. But if the SSV already opens, it will rotate like that and will allow air coming from here to go down here. So to install the SSV, secondary shutter valve, which closes and opens the secondaries. Pakacheck muna ako nakagayad tong ano. Isang bolt lang to, tapos nakalawit. Tignan mo, nakita mo? Uh, hmm, pasok mo lang sa butas, para sure. Nakapasok? Uh, uh. This is where we found the broken bolt too much torque by the previous mechanic who handled it and you just use an epoxy to fix the head bolt there you will just feel that bolt okay now the SSB is installed you will see here it's a vacuum diaphragm So you can see there that's uh, the closed position for the secondaries and then it will open close open close open and now this is the VDI valve same working principle with the SSB valve uh, there's a closed part and an open part of the valve so this is the VDI valve the variable dynamic effect intake valve So the VDI valve is now installed. You will see here that it is closed. Then if it opens, it will rotate like that, allowing air to cross bridge from the four ports. So we will just test the motor for the fifth and sixth port uh, sleeve. So let's test the fifth and sixth port sleeve. <laughs> 